Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Asa Abloy Academy virtual instructor-led training on Curry's Hollow Metal Solutions. My name is Katie Flower. I'm with Asa Abloy Academy. I'll be turning it over to your lead instructor in a moment. I would like to remind you that this session is being recorded and will be available on site in 24 hours after this session for you to review as many times as you would like to. And everybody is muted. If you have any questions, there's a Q&A button. Feel free to type in your question at any time. Rose will save some time at the end to answer any questions that I'm not able to answer during the session. I'll type the answer back to you. You will receive an email as thank you for attending within 24 hours of this session. And that will also be your proof to be able to use for continuing education credit if you need to. There are plenty of other Asa Abloy Academy webinars to sign up for. We put them up on a two week schedule. So please be sure to check back frequently to register for any of the new programs that we have. With that, I will turn this over to your lead instructor, Rose Cliff Olson. She is our door group training manager and quote specialist. Thank you, Katie, and welcome to everyone. Um, we will be covering Curry's um, products, the nomenclature, some of the applications for the various doors and frames. So the first um, slide here I'd like to show you is just giving a layout of all of the service centers um, that we have across the country that you have access to. Um, within all of these various service centers, of course, the inventory is a bit different depending on the location. Also, uh, the capabilities. Uh, some of our service centers have the ability to uh, form up metal frames. Um, all of our service centers can modify both doors and frames, do uh, various types of weldings on three-sided frames and side light bar lights. So again, take advantage of our service center website uh, to see all of the features and benefits of our service centers across the country. With that, um, if you have not had a chance to view the Curry's website, um, I encourage you to do so. We have a lot of, uh, quite a bit of good information on the website. One is the built app that you'll see at the top left there. Very good um, app. It is not an ASA app. Uh, we have other manufacturers, you know, different, you know, Weber Grills and all these other different companies also house their installation information on the built. But it is a very good resource for you and for your customer uh, if you want to have a little bit more information about how to install on the door side, the, the doors or the frames, and then also we have it for the hardware. Uh, so um, that can be downloaded on your phone or on a iPad. The other is the Dave's Door Opening Blog. A lot of good information there. We take various types of topics every other month and we will list that topic on the blog here. You can subscribe to the blog and each time we have a new topic listed, we will send you an email letting you know it is available. We house all of the topics um, on the uh, blog here so you can go back and do a search. We have started this probably about five, or so years ago. So all of our articles are listed there. You can do a search by a topic also. So it's a lot of good information there, more technical. We do a deep dive in specific uh, topics. You can also send in your idea if you'd like for us to do a deep dive on a specific topic. And of course, as Katie has mentioned, the um, Asabloy Academy, uh, another way that you can readily get into the Academy to sign up for various classes. So we'll start off with Curry's frames. Uh, this is just showing you the various types of options that are available with Curry's frames. We go from 18 to 12 gauge on the masonry frames, 18 to 14 gauge on drywall. And you'll note for the steel type, we have cold rolled steel CRS, A60, which is your RK. And the RK basically is really no rhyme or reason on the A60, the designation. But the code that RK basically is the manufacturer years ago that Curry's used to order their A60 galvanil steel from. Uh, so that designation is uh, for the A60 galvanil. We also do not offer A40 galvanil material. So if you see that in the specification, uh, your next one will be the A60. And then we also offer the G90 galvanized material. 
variety of different types of face, rabbits, return legs. With curries, uh, they are able to make a frame up to a 26 inch jam depth. Uh, and we go eighth inch increments from three inch all the way to 26 inch. KD, but constructions, welded, fully welded frames, all of the different types of option, options are available. And again, pre-finishing both in KD and welded material. Here's a list of some of the more standard types of frames that Curry's has, and we'll go a little bit more detail in the different types here. But again, you'll see to the top right, some additional options. We'll talk uh, about the fire rating, some of the custom types of frames that are available, uh, your double eagle thermal break frames and so on. So the first type of frame that Curry's has is their standard masonry frame, which is designated as M series. You have for unequal rabbited, which is your most common, but we also offer the equal rabbited frame. Within the M series frame, you can uh, order frames from 18 gauge all the way to your 12 gauge frame. And of course, on the 12 gauge, you're looking at more of your security type of applications for that material. And then again, cold rolled, galvanized, or galvanized, which is your G90 material. Um, with that, you'll see that if you, if you look at the Curry's price book, it will, you have the ability to price all the way up to 14 inch out of the price book. Anything above that, you will need to send it in to the factory um, to get a price. Um, also with the various types of welding applications that are available with Curry's. Um, again, anchors can be welded in or loose. It would be depending on what you're ordering. Um, the type of frames that you are. And um, different types of return dimensions, different face dimensions. And again, a lot of this information will be found in the tech data sheets also. Continue on with masonry type frame, we have the MK frame, which you'll see there is the cased opening or sometime referred to as a uh, trimmed opening frame, available from 18 to 14 gauge. Uh, galvanized and cold rolled material. You'll see the various face dimensions that are available. The G frame is your single rabbited frame. We start from three inch and we go up to 14 inch and eighth inch increments. Uh, you will need to be aware of when you get down around four and three quarter, four and a half, that the uh, frame itself will be a single rabbit just from the fact that the manufacturer cannot form up that frame. Uh, with two rabbits on it. So it would be a single rabbit frame. The DEM is the series for the double egress frame. And again, available in 16 and 14 gauge. And again, with the double egress frame, you'll have the fire rating from hour and a half to three hour uh, with the different types of either surface vertical rod or concealed vertical rod preps in the header that are available. This is a sheet that shows you, or a slide rather, that shows you the various types of more of the standard anchors that Curry's offers, along with the part number. You'll see more of these also in the price book and also in their tech data, where you get into more of your more uh, welded in types of anchors, uh, more customized types of anchors. You can find those either in the price book, price book or in the tech data. The standard foot clip up at the top there, uh, that is the foot clip or the base anchor. That's going to be standard to all of your masonry frames. That is an anchor you do not have to specify or order it that way. The only way you will not receive that base anchor or foot clip is if you specify no base anchor or foot clip. Then we get into your drywall, the drywall frames, which we classify as the C frame. These are going to be your true interior slip on uh, types of frame. These frames are not designed to be welded, interior application. So with that, the frame, as you see, the anchoring system here is that we have a countersunk hole on both sides on the face of the frame. And then we have a compression anchor or plumb anchor that you see um, attached on each side of the jams. And that's, that's just basically at, at the top of the frame on each side. And that is really how you're going to install that frame. Again, with the gauges available from 18 to 14 gauge. And as we go through various, the different types of frames, be aware that not all frames are going to be available. 
in all of the gauges. For instance, here on the drywall, we go to 14, um, not to your 12 gauge. And again, be aware of the various jam depths that are available for the different types of frames. And again, if your customer does not want the countersunk hole at the bottom of the frame, there is an optional base anchor uh, that needs to be ordered that way. Uh, if not, if there's no uh, reference to any type of base anchor, you will get the countersunk hole at the bottom of the frame on both faces. Continuation of some additional drywall frames uh, that we have is going to be your CG. As you'll see there, it is your single rabbited frame, drywall frame. Your CK will be your cased opening or trimmed opening is another terminology. And then the CM, and this is a, it technically is a masonry frame, but it has a back bend on it. And the application for this is this frame will be set and squared up. You'll have your anchors there and the drywall slides in to the frame itself. That back bend helps protect the drywall from uh, gouging as it's being slid in behind the frame. Uh, again, this is a product that you will um, need to, it is not a product rather that is something that's stock. It is a custom item for us. And then we get into various custom frames. These are going to be your frames outside of your say normal three-sided frames. So we offer these from 18 gauge all the way to 12 gauge, all the various steels that you will see there, uh, up to three hour rating that is going to depend on the configuration. There are certain designs and, and that you may see that we cannot put a true fire rating on that product. We do offer a label construction uh, that we can apply to the frame. And basically you see that in most specifications now, because most um, architects understand that if they dream up a type of design, it may not fall within um, us being able to put a fire rated label on it. So they will ask for a label construction. It basically just says that if this frame could be fire rated, it is made in the same fashion as if it could have a fire rated label on it. But because of limitations, whether that's width or height or jam depth or configuration, we have not fire tested this, this type of uh, frame. So therefore we cannot put a true fire rated label on the frame. You'll also see that we provide borrowed lights, different types of transom frames, arched or curved frames. And then also um, we offer the bituminous back coating. This came out probably about six, seven years ago as a water-based. Previously, manufacturers, distributors would not um, supply a back coating on the frames due to that product was so toxic. Um, probably six, seven years ago, the industry came out as a whole with a water-based, environmentally friendly type of back coating that you can use if you've got a masonry frame and it's going to be crowd, grouted. This helps protect from the inside out. It slows the, uh, the rust process, just like um, undercoating under of your cards helping with the rust, the process being slowed down. So this is a product now because it is water-based, it's environmentally friendly. Uh, we can supply it on uh, three-sided frames, sight light, borrowed lights. It can be done in the field. It can also be done at the distributor's facility. This gives you a, a, a one slide example of some of the custom profiles and back bends that Curry's can do. Um, overall, at latest count, they could do, they have done actually over 400, a little over 400 different types of profiles and back bends. So pretty much if it can be dreamed up, uh, Curry's can do it. So again, if you have a configuration that's outside of the normal types of back bends or profiles, please send that in. We can take a look at it. We can look at the equipment we have to make sure, in fact, we can do that. Again, with these special types of profiles and back bends, we need as much information as possible as far as dimensions and things like that. The other type of frame that we have is our E119 fire resistive frame. This is basically, in a nutshell, a temperaturized type of opening. It is considered as part of the wall. Therefore, we can get this as a, get it all the way up to an hour and a half or a three hour rating on this fire resistive frame. And again, architects really have been um, holding the spec on these types of frames. Uh, some probably three or so years ago in our industry, 
most of the time this type of frame here would be excluded as being fire rated. There weren't really any manufacturers that can provide that type of frame as fire rating. Now combined with the various types of glass companies out there, we partner with Vetrotech Glass, we can achieve that three hour fire resistive temperaturized type of uh, wall system in metal. With that, along with it being uh, looking as if it's a uh, BART life with mullions in it, we can do walls of glass. Here are some of the common applications for this E119. Again, we, um, uh, Curry's has introduced last year, I believe it was a level three bullet resistant properties to this and STC ratings to this um, E119 product. Along with it being a little bit more out of the ordinary, more complicated than our standard frames, we have a sheet that's on the website that you can actually fill out and send it in for us to price it for you. So we take that responsibility of pricing that for you, getting back the information to you that you can submit this. We also will be able to do, we are also uh, do shop drawings for you at no charge. So that is another thing that you don't have to worry about doing the work on that. Um, we take that liability as far as from pricing to submittal packages for you. Then we'll jump into steel doors. Um, we have our composite doors and then we have our steel stiffened doors and we're going to walk through all of the series that we have. So the one thing with Curry's doors, which is um, different than I pretty much any other manufacturer in the industry, is that with Curry's doors, they have a perimeter channel. So it goes the full height of the door on both the hinge and the lock side as the detail shows you here. So when you're looking at their hinge cutouts, um, it is actually embossed into that channel. So not only do you have the steel skins to make up the door, you will always have that perimeter channel on both the hinge and the lock side. The way Curry's does their, um, or their nomenclature for their doors is they start off with a like a 707 and then you build what type of core, whether it's a polystyrene insulated core, honeycomb core, uh, temperaturized core, so on. So the series will change, but like for the 707, you have the option of polystyrene honeycomb or polyurethane core. So with this, we're looking at the polystyrene. This is the standard type of core, the insulated core. You'll see it's available from 20 gauge to 14 gauge. One thing that we did change last year was that on the 20 gauge doors, uh, they are no longer available in galvanized material. So if you're looking at a 20 gauge door, it will be cold rolled only. All of the other gauges, we offer those in cold rolled or galvanized or galvanized material. You'll notice also as we walk through this, not all doors will have are available in 5.0 by 10.0. Uh, the polystyrene is um, with the 5.0 when you get past or over four foot wide, we do go to a still stiffened product for that five foot wide door, but they are available. You'll see the um, different types of the R factor. And one thing I want to point out, you'll see the calculated and the operable. Uh, with the ASTM C518 or the 1363. One thing you want to be aware of is, is that there are some manufacturers out there that cannot give you an operable rating of some of their doors. Um, with this, when it's, and when it's calculated, it, it's tested with a, a piece of the core and it, it's calculated or tested out that it will achieve X. When it's operable, that open, that door has to operate. It's got to be hung, it's got to operate, and then you can achieve whatever factor you're looking at. So be aware of that because it does make a difference as you're looking at products. And then also with the polystyrene core, the STC24, that is right off the shelf is an STC24. And of course you build that STC rating by adding your frame, your seals and so forth. And again, with this core, we can get a rating up to three hour. Here are your benefits and your applications for the polystyrene core. Again, the biggest, in my mind is that it is an insulated core. You do not, you don't have to worry about if it's being used interior, exterior, you've got an insulated door. The other type of door that we have in the 707 series is your honeycomb, honeycomb core door available in inch and three quarter only on the honeycomb core. You'll notice the gauges available. So it's not offered in 14 gauge. And again, depending on the cores, the gauges will fluctuate. 
Um, with the sizes, 4090 is going to be your max on the honeycomb core. And then you have your R factors listed there, whether it's calculated or operable. And right off the shelf, a honeycomb core uh, has an STC32 and can be fire rated up to three hour. Here listed are your benefits about competitive pricing, higher STC than your urethane, um, and then different types of applications for the honeycomb core door. The polyurethane core is going to be your slab insulated core. The difference between your polyurethane and your polystyrene is that if you're in a, a situation where you need to have the highest insulating value of a door, it is going to be your polyurethane core door. Um, available in 14 down to 20 gauge. Uh, you'll notice the gauge of the steel available, also five foot to 10 foot available. With the polyurethane core, you have an STC right off the shelf of a 29, and this door can be fire rated up to three hour. I don't know if there's still, most manufacturers now can do a polyurethane core fire rated, but be aware of that because years ago, a lot of manufacturers could not supply a fire rated polyurethane core. So that's one thing you want to also look out for. The 727 is the mineral um, fiberboard core, the temperaturized door in your stair stairwell application. We have 250 and we have 450. Be aware on the 250, you'll see it as a one piece core. The 450 temporized, and we have a slide here in the next second here to show it, but it is gonna be a still stiffened product. So with the 250, you have that available from 18 all the way to 14 gauge. You'll notice the size is up to eight foot and we've got the three hour 250 temporized rating for this type of door. Again, with this type of door, the most common applications you'll see that is in your stairwell, in multi-story buildings, your chemical storage areas, you will see the specified also. The 747 is the still stiffened door and the 747 450 is your temperature rise still stiffened door. The upside to a still stiffened door is that it can take a lot of abuse because basically as you look at that detail there, we have uh, 22 gauge stiffeners that are welded to the inside face of the door. They're placed six inches apart and then we pack the, the voids full of insulation. This type of door will take a lot of abuse. It's for high use area areas, you know, um, dock areas where you have the roll up doors and then you have your man door where they're bringing in their goods. So you want a door that's going to withstand a lot of abuse. The downside to the door is because the nature of how this door is um, manufactured, you will have the steel stiffeners welded to the inside face sheet. You will see spot wall marks. Throughout the, the, uh, the course of years, manufacturers have gotten better at being able to, is for you not to be able to see spot wall marks, but because of the way it's made, at some point you, you will see spot wall marks. So this door is intended for durability and not aesthetics. You will see um, the sizes that are available in this. And again, remember I said anything over four foot wide, it will be a still stiffen product. That's the only way we can make say a five foot wide door. You'll see the STC um, 38 to 43, depending on uh, the 47 are uh, still stiffened or the temperature rise. Three hour fire, um, fire rating on the still stiffened, the 450 temp rise door is only an hour and a half. And again, your benefits, as I said, high frequency, severe traffic openings, and your applications are listed there. We have two different types of uh, trio doors. This one is the 777 trio door. As you see this door, it is a still stiffened door. This door is made differently than our standard still stiffened doors and the trio doors, um, as far as I know to date, we are still the only, um, Asa Abloy is the only company in the US that can make this type of product by all the different manufacturers. So with that, what this trio door is, is you have your stiffeners, it's welded, to a subsheet, then we put that subsheet inside the door and we pack the voids full of insulation. The beauty of this door is you have the strength of a still stiffened door. Um, and then you also have, again, the aesthetics because you won't see any spot wall marks on the face of the door because those stiffeners are welded to an additional piece of steel and then it's put inside the door. So with that, you'll see this door available in 14 to 18 gauge. You'll see it's cold rolled or A60 or G90 available. 
on the trio door, up to nine foot tall. And right off the shelf, this type of door is an STC 38 and a three hour rating up to. Here again with the benefits for the trio or triple seven, as I explained, the, the upside of having it insulated, the strength of still stiffener, but you can also add a high gloss finish paint to this because you will not see any spot wall marks on the face of this door. High security inch and three quarter thick door is the 847. And again, this type of product, again, because it is a still stiffened door, you will possibly see spot wall marks on the face of the door. 14 gauge only. Um, it is available in cold rolled A60 or G90. Again, up to 5.0 by 10 foot tall is available on your high security inch and three quarter door three rated up to three hour. And again, the benefits there is designed to handle a lot of abuse and stress. Um, again, like school, stairwells, toilet rooms, and so on. The other type of door we have is the 857. This is a two inch thick door. Um, all of our other still stiffen products have the stiffeners that are placed six inches apart and then we pack a full of insulation, the voids. With the two inch thick high security door, the stiffeners are placed four inches apart. So the wider that door is, the more stiffeners you're going to have in that door. That is one way that we beef up the uh, type of door when you're going to your two inch thick high security door. 14 gauge only um, in the gauge of door that is available. And you'll note that the size does change from the inch and three quarters. So this is only up to eight foot tall with the two inch high security doors. And again, there are your benefits listed for your the stress and abuse of schools, especially you'll see this anywhere where there's a maximum security that you're trying to get with a hollow metal door is where you're probably going to see the two inch thick uh, door, which is the 857 series. The BH is the patient room access door. Uh, this is a product is designed for um, uh, de-escalation uh, rooms, um, holding areas, psychiatric facilities, where if you have someone in the room and they try to barricade themselves in that room, that the caregiver or whoever it is on the corridor side can open up the wicket door or the smaller door it swings towards the corridor and they can step through the door without opening up the full size door. So with this, it is, um, you get both, as you look at the price book, it has both doors included with the continuous hinge. We also um, have the uh, wave lock that is available. So this opening will have the door, the frame, the hardware that won't be able to uh, readily be used to injure a person on the room side. And again, with the benefits, as I kind of talked about the requirements of healthcare facilities, again, you'll see this in de-escalation uh, rooms, patient rooms, psychiatric facilities, uh, correctional facilities, you will see this uh, product specified. Then we have the 767 door. This is our style and rail, and this is a tubular style and rail door. So the construction is going to be completely different than say taking a, a flush door and cutting in a full glass and, and putting a channel in there and then your light kit. This door um, is a type of product where you're gonna see on, on exterior application where there's a, a bit of abuse, you'll see it in school applications. Um, what this door is, it has a strength because it is, it is a steel um, a metal door and also it can be galvanized. We can make this style of rail, tubular style of rail door to where it mimics a aluminum opening so we give you the narrow styles and rails. Uh, you can have that for either narrow, medium, or wide style um, rails on this particular product. Again, the optional is with fire rating up to 45 minutes. Um, with this, your benefits and your applications for the 767 door. The one thing with this, because it is very labor intensive, you'll have a bit of a longer lead time on this product because pretty much everything is, is by hand. Um, again, just be aware of that. Um, lead time. And then we get into sustainable uh, solutions. Uh, the one thing with ASA that, does a, that we do a very good job with is the various types of sustainable solutions, where, whether it's the indoor air quality, where you, know, you don't want your doors and frames emitting some sort of gas or odor, um, daylighting, 
where studies show that if you are working in an environment where you get a lot of natural light, you feel better, you work better in that environment. And we try to be as transparent as possible. You'll see that we have what we call a declared label. It's basically like a laundry list or a ingredients list uh, that makes up for our doors. And then all of the energy efficient products that we have, which we'll be going through here in just a minute. This is a really nice chart that is found on the Curry's website. And again, uh, my, my uh, mantra is that I don't need to know everything. I just need to know where to find the information or who to reach out to get the information. So I fall back on this a lot because sometimes the U factor and R value trying to keep those straight, one is the heat transmission and one is the resistance. And you think, okay, which one is which? It's really nice to have this as a resource um, to be able to view it from time to time. The other thing I like about the um, detail to the right there is that you can take the various types of doors. You'll see there the different series, some of these we've already talked about. And then you look at the different types of frames, which we'll be going through here on the Mercury frame and the Kirk frame. It lists out what the U factor, what your R value uh, will be based on the door and the different types of frame. Again, this is going to be based on the operable um, ASTM C1363 standard. Here is showing you an example of the declared label. As you look at that, it um, gives you uh, the final assembly, um, the uh, different types of ingredients. Again, everything that it takes to make up this type of door. And again, the various other types of sustainable solutions we have. If you go to the website and you go to the tab that says sustainable solution, you'll have a wealth of information there about all of our different products and, and um, what they comply with. Now we talked about the trio door, which is a still stiffened door. The beauty, as we said, is you got the strength of it being a still stiffened and you have the um, benefit of not having spot wall marks on the face of the door. So now we have the trio E and E is for energy efficient. And as you look at the detail in, in the circle there, basically what we're doing again is we're still taking those stiffeners and we're um, welding it to a subsheet. Stiffeners are cut back just a bit as we put that inside the door, then we pump it full of liquid polyurethane. So with that, you have the liquid polyurethane going through the whole door and you get that energy efficiency on this door. So with that, again, the stiffeners are five inches apart, but the beauty of it is that you won't see any spot wall marks and you have a still stiffened product along with it being energy efficient. So again, with the sizes that are available up to 80, um, STC 30 on the Trio E door, fire rating up to three hour. And you'll see your benefits and the applications where you most likely will see the Trio E door. Now, if you have a customer that is looking for, and you're, you're like, okay, when do I use one or the other Trio E or Trio door? If your customer's primary objective is to have the strength of a still stiffened door, and he's going to do some sort of, you know, color on there that's high gloss. What you want to do then is look at your Trio E door, the triple seven. Uh, I'm sorry, just a tree, uh, the Trio door. The Trio E is if they're looking for that energy efficient aspect of this door, this is where that door comes into play. And then we have another type of energy efficient type of system. We have a patent pending on this Mercury door. Um, basically, if you look inside this door, you will see they're diamond shaped rods that we weld to the very top and to the bottom of the door. And then we pump the door full of liquid polyurethane. So it becomes a highly energy efficient product along with the mercury door, which is a thermal break door that we designed probably some seven or eight years ago. Now you may say, well, why do you have two different types of energy efficient? You've got your Trio E and now you've got the mercury. The beauty with the Mercury system is if you have an application where or project where they're looking at and they're looking at the cost and they're like, we really would like to have an energy efficient opening, but our budget won't allow for the Trio E, we have the Mercury system for you. It, it comes in at about 10% lower than similar energy efficient solutions. So again, you have the benefit of having the Trio E or a Mercury door system also. 
Now, with talking about thermal break frames, we, again, I talked about the mercury frame. It is a two-piece. With it being a thermal break, it, it must be a two-piece frame. We also supply it with a weather strip, a stick-on weather strip. We also still have the old riveted type of frame designed for a thermal break frame. And you may ask, why in the world would you have two different types of thermal break frame? Well, when we developed the mercury frame some years ago, we had it out in the market for about a year. Uh, then we sent out a information uh, email, blast email to the customer base saying that we are going to discontinue the old style. We had such pushback that we now have two thermal brake frames. But I do caution you that you want to always defer to the mercury frame. The old style, um, there are certain um, customers that will continue to use that because that's what's in the market. That's what they, they want. They won't deviate from any, you know, to anything else but the lead time goes out. You have a, a, a tremendous long lead time on the old style, you know, upwards of over 10 weeks on this type of frame. So please be aware that always try to defer to the mercury frame. The lead time is um, way less than that. The other type of frame that you'll see specified or could be used in those energy efficient application is the curved frame. It is just another option for you other than the stick-on type of weather strip. What we do is we put an indentation in the stop. We supply the weather strip that slides into that pocket. Uh, if that weather strip gets damaged, you just have to slide it out, reorder another piece, and put that in. So again, it's just another option for you. Then we get into the decorative solutions. We have our high def embossed doors. If you're doing a apartment building or something like that, multifamily housing, you a six panel door is probably going to be enough. If you get into your high end condos, high end office settings, things like that, you may see them ask for a type of embossed door that has a, a more defined look to the lines, a different type of look as you see here than your standard six or eight panel embossed doors. We classify these as our high def embossed door. They are ADA compliant. You get them in 18 gauge, whether it's cold rolled or galvanized steel, and you'll see the sizes there. You will, you, you need to be aware of that not all of these, whether they're six or eight panel or the high def are all available at eight foot tall. We do have some cutoffs depending on the um, design. But you can get these doors up to uh, three hour fire rating and your STC 48 um, rating on these doors because we see a lot of these types of high and high def embossed doors in office settings, executive's office, things like that. So again, you have the beauty of the door, but you also have the fire rating and the STC properties with this high def embossed door. And there you'll also see the benefits as we talked, as I talked about a bit. And then also the application. The other thing is, as it says there, alternative to your style and rail wood doors. By far, I think this is my most favorite of all the doors that we have is the curry stain wood grain door. The steel comes into the factory already etched. Um, and the beauty of this is that the etchings go the correct direction. So it does simulate a um, style and rail wood door. There are manufacturers out there that will supply you a wood grain door, but the grains or the etchings all go one direction. And when you get into an embossed type or six or eight panel door, it looks a little weird to have all the etchings go one direction. So with that, when the steel comes in, we have six standard colors that we can pre-finish the store to. It is hand stained, and then we put a clear UV top coat on the door. We can match any type of color. To date, we've done approximately probably about 2,900 different colors. We can also take and um, paint your frames to match. Now the frames won't have etchings on it, but it will, it can match the door. Um, we, if you're doing a different color outside of the six standard colors, of course, we would need a color chip to match that. But again, you have this door where it will, um, if you're looking at a wood door, but you need the strength of it being metal, you need that three hour rating where you can't get in a wood door, it's going to be an exterior application. This is by far the type of door that you want to be looking at. Um, then we have the factory installed um, glazing. I know a lot of distributors, you have your own um, glass house that you use. 
but again, keep this in mind that if you're doing a smaller job and it's you know out in the middle of nowhere, um, you can save on this by having us to install the glass and pre-finish it and drop ship it to the job site. So again, uh, in the tech data, we have a variety of different types of glass options that are out there um, for your use. Here are, I talked about with pre-finishing, this is the sheet, a well, one-page um, sheet that shows uh, Curry standard pre-finished colors. But again, we can match any type of color that you're looking for. Again, we need the color sample uh, chip. We match that, we send it back to you. You have to get that approved and signed off and then sent in to us. Once we get that approved color chip back, that's when the engineering, that's when the processing of your order starts. I've had from time to time customers email me and says, well, if we get, if we kind of know that this is what we're gonna get, the color we're going to get approved, but we don't have it approved yet, but could you at least start engineering the product? And maybe if you could just shear it, but don't bend anything, we won't do any of that. Uh, we do need that color chip back before even someone will look at the order. Real quick, as far as the, um, the hurricane and tornado products that we have available, again, on the Curry's webpage, we have a variety of different um, products that you can pick from, the, all the different sizes, uh, the different types of core constructions out there, any kind of glazing that's applicable to the hurricane resistant type of products. Again, all of that information will be found on the Curry's website. Along with tornado, when you get into your FEMA, um, types of products, whether they're with shutters or whatever, all of those types of offerings are on the website. And some of you probably have gone through some of our specialty sessions, but I wanted just to spend a few minutes and going through, uh, just so you're aware of all of the different types of specialty products. This is basically a complete different, I guess if you want to say group of products, uh, they are uh, quoted, they're priced up, they're the, the um, specifications are reviewed by a whole different group of people. Um, and they've got years and years of experience in, in looking at bullet and blast and arc shielding, all the various types of standards that you have to comply with. For instance, on a bullet resistant product, you know, with that, it's either going to be most time the specs are going to call for it to be UL 752 or the NIJ standard. And the NIJ is your National Institute of Justice. We can do those products, but they're going to have a longer lead time. They're more expensive. And that's something you don't want to miss on the spec. So let the specialty group look at your quote, get your price based on the spec. We will also take and review your specification. And if it's in, say, an Ambico, Overly, or Krieger spec, we can take that, what they've listed, and convert it over to our products. We give you a detailed listing of all of the products. And within the specialty, we have what we have a subgroup that is called hybrids. So you could take a bullet and then also have lead line properties to it, or STC and lead. Um, or blast and, and um, lead. It just depends on what that architect is asking for. But again, if you look on our website, if you look in our brochures, you won't see hybrid. So you want to send that spec in to us, let us take a look at it, and then we can let you know what we can do. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind on these specialty hybrids is say, for instance, if you have an RF shielded opening and then they want an STC of a 50, we may only be able to give you the STC 48 because what's most important is that you have that RF shielding. Um, so we kind of look at the specs that way when we talk about hybrids. Within that also specialty, we have acoustical openings. We can um, have STC up to a 66. That is two doors, that each door is an STC 54 within that opening. Uh, you'll see that most likely in your um, um, types of recording studios where they're working, they close one door, you get an STC 54, you close the second door, it gets you up to the 66. We have stainless steel options. We have our forced entry bullet resistant property uh, type of openings. Along with attack resistance, uh, flood resistant products, lead line, water resistant. Again, all of these types of um, specialty products we have available. And within these groups, we have that hybrid also. 
So on our last slide here, we have industry organization, which I'm sure most of you are very familiar with. Uh, the Steel Door Institute, I would like to just take a second to talk about that. The SDI uh, website, stilldoor.org, if you have not spent any time there, again, it's another great resource for you. It gets into a lot of different videos. They've upgraded that website where they have videos on how to install a masonry frame, whether it's in block or brick, or if you have it in drywall or stud wall, rather, your drywall frames. Uh, they have a variety of different types of videos that last anywhere from four to six minutes. Again, another good resource for you um, to take a look at. Of course, DHI, our NFPA 80, which we're guided by with the codes and standards on uh, fire rating, and then IBC, and of course, your BHMA. So with that, I want to thank you all for attending, and I wanted to check with Katie, if there were any questions or comments, we have a few minutes before the session is over. There are no questions at this time, but if anybody has any, please take a moment to type them in. We will hang around for a few minutes to see if there's any questions, but if not, as Rose mentioned, thank you so much for attending. Uh, if you have any questions, now is the time. Wow, I did that good of a job, huh? <laughs> so with that, again, you can always send uh, me an email if you, or your DSS, your local DSS, or your um, business development person. You can always reach out to any of us if you have any questions on Curry's products or any of the applications or some of the restrictions we may or may not have on a specific product. So with that, if there's no other questions, I want to say thank you so very much for attending. Hopefully this has been helpful and stay safe out there.